G'day there everybody, it's Ozzy here. Today I thought I'd share with you my current dual blade build in Monster Hunter Rise. Now before we get into the build, I'm going to give you a disclaimer, this is a pre camellius update build. So, you're just going to have to bear with that. Also, this isn't a meta build, but it is actually a pretty solid build. As you can see when I'm versing my good old friend Mr. Tetradon here, the Simo Wrestling Platypus. He's my favourite mod, so that's why I decided to fight him. Alright, with that out of the way, I'll give you a brief rundown of the build, like a quick little thing, and then I'll go into the build in more depth later on in the video. So, what you'll see is, with the dual blades, because it's a dual blade build, I'm running the Azura Elder Blades too, because they honestly have the most blue sharpness. And in this game, sharpness fades really freaking quick, eh? It's ridiculous. And I don't want to have to be out of the fight. This will keep me in the fight longer. Then I'm running a Zenoga Helm. Altharok Thorax. Sorry if I butchered that. Raffalos Braces. A Doba Coil. Alkaroth Kura. Oh, man, I'm bad with these names. And a Wiz... Wiz Torn and Talisman. Now what you'll see is when you look over there at my skills, I've actually got level 6 Crit Eye, Dragon Attack level 5, Attack Boost level 4, Weakness Exploit level 3, so you'll notice that when I'm hitting these weak points my damage actually goes up an uh, absolute shit ton. Defense Boost, now that's only there because I couldn't think of any level 1 skills to put in. I have these level 1 spots and I just... Oh, I just couldn't think of anything to put in, so I just put that in. Then I've got latent power and critical element. And that's the build that you see running behind you. Not only do you look like a badass, but you can actually pump out some seriously good damage. So if you're just after a nice, solid build, that'll actually help you out, because I use that just about everything. And it's actually really, really nice. And they're the Ibushi Jewel Blades, so they look absolutely fucking sweet. Alright. Well, this one speed him out and I'll get you into the full and we'll go and we'll actually have a look and I'll show you the actual skills on the armor and you'll see what I mean well it's like a bit hard to get all the skills required all right we're here at the arm um, where you get to look at it I'll show you more in depth at the armor and as you can see with the helm you get the latent power weakness exploit and dragon attack then with the chest you get the critical element some crit eye and some dragon attack the braces give you attack and then some more crit eye the coil gives you dragon attack attack boost and crit eye then with the legs you get crit eye again dragon attack and defense boost and then you get the final weakness exploit you get that from the talisman which actually gives us all our nice little skills but when you go in and have a look at the decorations I'm using which I was going into now. You'll see I'm running one dragon attack because the dual blade's a dragon. Another dragon on the chest. An expert jewel on the braces. On the coil I'm running another expert jewel. Then the two defenses on the legs. And the talisman wall. I wish it did have bloody slots, but it doesn't. Because if it did, I'd probably if it had another level two slot, I'd just run another crit eye. And that will give me full crit eye. Anyway, that's the setup I'm running at the moment. Which is actually pretty cool because you can actually do some seriously good damage with it. And because of the dual blades, like... You do get to keep your sharpness longer. Like, if you wanted to go for 100% affinity, you could change the dual blades. It would make a difference. I mean, the reason why I chose them is not only because of the sharpness. But because... A lot of these armor pieces actually give you dragon. And then on the dual blade itself, my ramped up skill is just dragon boost 3. Because, you know, that was the better one out of the 3. Because, you know, you got an anti aerial species and a boosty soul, which is kind of a big letdown. But anyway, hang on. Check out the cool turf war we got here going on. Now, that, that's the dual blade build and run. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you uh, like the build. How you would improve it because I did think about some stamina skills, but for some reason in Rise with Jewel Blade, your stamina recre in recovers so fast, I didn't think it was worth it. 
So that's why. If they were level 1 skills, I would have smashed them in. But that was the only spaces I had. So let me know what you'd put instead of defense. Because I'm curious to hear from you fellow hunters out there. Anyway, I've been the Aussie Hunter. G'day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this with a friend if you, if you think they'll enjoy it. And I'm going to let the rest of the fight play out because it doesn't go for too much longer. And as always, until next time, happy hunting! Good job, buddy. <laughs>